the rise of esports or electronic sports in colleges have allowed students to gain their way to a degree. CBS 2 Steve Overmeyer has more now from Nassau County. Someone push, someone push cards, someone push cards. You're looking at a new breed of athlete. All right, let's just give it one last go. When the colleges nationwide are clamoring over. It's something that should be happening, um, especially how like video games are totally in our culture now. In the past three years, 50 schools have added esports programs. 17 offer scholarships. This is the inaugural esports game at New York Institute of Technology. They're playing a six on six game called Overwatch against the University of Delaware, whose team is 200 miles away. What do you think parents say when they find out that their kids can earn scholarships by playing video games? Well, at first you tell them you're on a team. <laughs> they get excited. You say it's a video game team. <laughs> the happiness kind of leaves a little bit. Just like any other athlete, esports gamers go through weeks of training just to make the team. Roadhog is down the bottom. I'm on hog. I'm on hog. Yeah, Roadhog, mercy up top right. The NCAA has yet to regulate esports. That means professional gamers can join the programs. Playing with everyone together, you can kind of just like feel the energy in the room. Genji dived in. Genji dived in. It was fun. It was exhilarating. It's nice to be able to play with everyone really close. Do you see a future where the esports team has the same kind of credibility as the basketball team? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Esports in general is it's just a growing industry. It's only a matter of time. Esports is about more than just gaming. Players say it improves communication and social skills. Plus, it's allowing the schools to meet the students in their world. What's the timeline on NYIT offering scholarships to play video games? You know, that, that's, that's a tough question. Um, if it was my decision and my decision solely, I'd try to do it tomorrow. We are an institution that's tuition driven. The more things we can offer that will attract students, the more beneficial it is to us. And a recent study by UC Irvine says 72% of college students play video games, yet only 1% of these schools offer esports programs. It is starting to become clear, Maurice Christine, that the schools that are early adapters to the mm -hmm. esports are seeing increased uh, admissions, increased enrollment, and uh, vastly increased student participation because wow. of this. I didn't see any push ups or sit ups there, by the no, way. No, no, not at all. Working out. They're still athletes, though. <laughs> still true athletes. Not going to argue with that. A lot of that. money involved in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So much money. Absolutely. All right. Good on the horizon. Thank you. That's right. All right.